uh, standard precautions, gloves, goggles. Ambulance service, did you call us in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's going on? I was Can we help you? feeling really unwell and really short of breath and I can't breathe and it's not normal. What's your name? Jess. Jess, okay, so I've got a response, airway, breathing, circulation, any hemorrhage present? No um, No visible dangers, so continuing. Um, so, how long did this start? I was feeling a bit unwell last night, but I thought I'd just go to bed and let it settle and it just hasn't got any better this morning. Uh, can you describe whereabouts you're feeling this? I, I, just, I just like I feel really short of breath. Just really short of breath. Yep. Yeah. Um, have you tried to do anything to relieve it? No, like I'm, I'm normally on oxygen, but I thought like I wouldn't muck up my routine and I'd just wait till tonight and just do my normal sort of stuff. That's okay. Um, my right. medications haven't helped yet today either. Uh, okay, okay. Um, do you feel any dizziness or nauseous or anything? No, I feel, feel a bit dizzy, but it's just really hard to breathe in. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just going to take a listen to your chest, okay? Yeah. Uh, can you take a temperature and do a BSL? Yeah, sure thing. Okay, can you just take a cough for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just breathe in through your mouth, okay? Temp is 38.1. Okay, I've got equal entry to the bases. No sounds. Oh, like no adventitious sounds. Yep. So she's actually got some uh, fine inspiratory crackles on the right base and some really coarse sounding crackles from the left base to the zone. Okay. Uh, and uh, temp is 38.1. Okay. Um, her general appearance, how did she present? She's a little bit White, anxious and distressed. Okay. Um, and her speech, it's as it is, speaking short phrases. Short phrases. Um, and her rhythm, breathing, any abnormalities or is it constant? Uh, it's a bit of a prolonged respiratory phase. Okay. Uh, any increased effort? Yep, just some slight intercostal retraction. Alright. Um, EGL was? Uh, 4.9. Yes. Can you just prepare some? I guess I'll be more than 10 milligrams. Yes. Um, I'm just going to check your pulse, okay? Mm -hmm. Actually, can you do O2 sats for me first? O2 sats? Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> Just pretend it. We don't have any? Oh, it's, in the, it's usually connected to the monitor, so just pretend. Okay, yeah, cool. um, I've got 64. Uh, it's actually 146. 146, okay. Let's start with O2. Um, start on nasal prongs. Go three liters. I normally have those ones at home. Normally have them on. Yes, and do. did you try to use them while you were sitting? Oh, I, I didn't want to muck up my normal routine. So I haven't tried them yet today. You haven't tried them? Okay. I normally have them every day. Oh, can you do the oxygen first? Yeah. Um, sorry, I've done the sats. So sats. What are we doing? Prongs. Uh, start with the prongs first. Prongs? Yep. Um, yeah, three liters so oxygen like prongs. You want oxygen. No, no, no you did the sats and yep. set up the oxygen one. Yep. Cool. So you want three liters Yeah. And we'll see how that goes first. I'm just going to check your blood pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you have oxygen at home, do you what do you normally have it at? Um, I normally have two liters for about four hours in the evening. All right. So I'll change that to two liters then. And see how there's any change. Gonna give you some oxygen to help with your breathing. Well, 120 on 70. 145 on 85. Okay. 
Um, how does the skin appear? Her skin is uh, quite flush, warm and dry. Flush, warm and dry. Okay, um, I need to ask you a few silly questions. Just mm -hmm. uh, bear with me. Um, so can you tell me your name again? Uh, Jess. Jess. And can you tell me what day it is today? Tuesday. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, and where are we? Uh, at home. At home. Okay. Uh, can you reach out and squeeze my fingers for me? Okay, so eyes, spontaneous, um, she's orientated, time, place, person, and motor response, uh, obeys command, so GCS 15. Um, what else am I forgetting? So have you done your RSA? Yep. PSA? Yep. GCS? Yep. Uh, so looking at secondary service? Alright. Uh, uh, can you yeah, check the stats again? Yep. Uh, the problems have been? That's still the same? Alright. Um, if I look, um, any, do I notice any uh, bruising or anything around the head? No. no. Um, if I look at the arms, any edema, swelling? Not the uh, And the legs? Not? All good. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, Alright, so you told me you were on medications. Can you tell me what yeah, some of them were? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, um, have you taken your Ventolin? Um, yes I have today, it yeah. hasn't done anything. Yeah, it didn't do anything, alright. Nah. Uh, uh, besides the medications, can you tell me what other medical history you have? Um, I got diagnosed with COPD a few years ago. Yeah. Um, and I've got high cholesterol, and that's it. That's it? <laughs> that's fine. Um, and when did you last have something to eat? Oh, this morning I had a bit of breakfast, but right. it took me a while because I had to I had to take a couple of breaths in between because I really should have breath. Yeah, um, and you were just you were just sitting here trying to catch your breath before you I pulled this in, right? I haven't done anything today. I just haven't been able to do anything. I'm just too short of breath. Can't even walk around the house properly. All right. Um, so there's no been, been no change in the O2 sats. Um, no. And her breathing still uh, still speaking short phrases. Yeah, let's try the salbutamol then. Um, 10 milligrams. So have you checked these? Yeah, I'll check them again. So 5 milligrams expires 2019. Both of them, yep. Uh, what else do I need to do? Um, when you breathe in, does it hurt anywhere in specific, or...? Um, not really, no. no? so you don't just feel any pain, or it's just hard to catch your breath? Just really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really short of breath. Um, and how long, was, how long have you been, you just since yesterday, was it, or...? Yeah, I just wasn't feeling well yesterday, I just got really short of breath yesterday, but have you noticed, breath today. Have you noticed the fever or anything, chills? Noticeably, no, not really. Sorry, Don't check it off. everywhere. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so that's running now. Um, yep. Um, what else is there? So, what are you looking at, patient-wise, like diagnosis? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's just an exacerbation of her COPD. Um, so she's in mild distress, yeah. so it's just a cell for now. Um, so there's you know, been you're no change. With, hmm? Given that COPD, is there anything else you want to treat with? Uh, just a cell butamol. The oxygen didn't do much, so we'll yeah. wait to see if there's any change with the cell um, If there's no change, we'll probably transport. Yeah. Um, any change so far with the SATs? Yep. Okay. Um, okay. So what I think has happened is your COPD has acted up a bit, and why, your, why would that have happened? Um, oh, it could be anything. It could be triggered by environment, and it could be um, in conjunction with your asthma as well. And it might have just. Uh, I don't have asthma. Did? Oh crap! <laughs> Please. Um, okay. So yeah, it could just be an environment. It could have been. Uh, it could have been anything really, um, there's no, there's no set trigger for it.
could have just um, made it worse all of a sudden. Uh -huh. But uh, as you are getting better. Yeah. Got a temperature, so potentially. Oh, temperature. Sure. All right. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking at the start, man. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, it could have been, and because you have a bit of a temperature, it might have an infection in the lungs as well. Okay. So that's most likely the cause of the exacerbated COPD. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. What have do to that It would have to transport it then, um, so it can get antibiotics to get tricky infection. Um, yeah. Do you think it's bacteria? Uh, most likely. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. That's right. Anyone else got any ideas? What was the question? Bacterial or viral? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ask me if they've got like any sputum or anything like that? Ah, that's, that's right. So have you been producing any sputum? Yeah, it's been runny nose and then coughing up lots and <laughs> it's been a bit gross. Horrible green colour. Yeah. Ah, great. <laughs> Tasty. Cool. Alright, uh, how would you do that?